Uh, the Bible tells us as we come together, we come with doctrine, we come with sound, we come also with revelation. And all things are done to edify him. I believe that from what our beloved brother will share with you today, you will be edified. Amen. Amen. And uh, it's not his first time of letting us know what the Lord has been showing him. The Lord has given him that grace to know his mind in that way. And so, we will want to invite our beloved Pastor Samuel Okorafo to share with you what the Lord has given to him. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Quickly, let's go to Jeremiah 33. I'm just reading verse 3 only. Jeremiah 33, verse 3. I read, Call unto me, and I will answer thee, and show thee great and mighty things which thou knowest not. Praise the Lord. Let us pray. In Jesus' name. Internal reality. King of glory, divine. Secret things belonged unto thee. Thank you, Lord, for the 2017 International Holiness Women Conference. Lord, we know your presence is with us. El Shaddai, as I will be sharing this with your children, I pray you open our eyes of understanding that we might receive. In Jesus' name we pray. Bless the Lord. This happened towards the last hours of the 24th of this month, which was there before yesterday, and the early hours of yesterday, 25th of April. Praise the Lord. I came back to work from Delta State to work on that day, and at about 8.80, 8 the international director called me now, why coming tomorrow, which was yesterday, I should bring the cartons of tracks printed by Evangelist Morgan. And 20 minutes later, Bro Morgan came into the house and dropped the four cartons. And we talked a little, he left. And immediately I entered my bedroom and slept off. I woke up at about 11.30 p.m. I discovered that my wife was not in the room. I came to the living room and saw that she was there with our little baby, Monachi. I went back to the room and at 11.44, she came to the room and I went to the living room. When I got to the living room, I began to sing this worship song in Igbo dialect, which says, "Ihem jenaka okari rego, ihem jenaka nkenjika, ihem jenaka okari rego wa, ihem jenaka." I sang this song to the point that I felt that there were other people singing with me, but I could not see them. It was wonderful in the house. Then after that, I today I went to God in prayer. My first prayer point was to thank God for delivering him, brethren for arriving for the conference safely because 
They called me and told me of the troubles they faced on the way. And after that prayer, my second prayer point was, Lord, that the only Savior I, my wife and children and generation will know is Jesus Christ. And the third prayer point was, Lord, the only God we will serve is Jehovah, the creator of heaven and earth. And the last prayer point was that the Lord should purge my children, though they know him not now, but his mighty hand of salvation, they will never escape it in Jesus' name. After that prayer, I went into my room and I lied down on the bed and this revelation began. I was not sleeping. I was just lying down on the bed. Then I found myself standing somewhere and the ground was opening with a mighty force. I was just looking at it with amazement how the thing was opening and suddenly I discovered that something shining was coming out of the ground. And gradually, as the thing was coming out, I, there were deaths on the body of this shining thing, like gold. Then a hand came. And this hand, I was not seeing the person in full, but the hand was cleaning these deaths on this gold. And suddenly, the thing came out in full, and I saw a writing on it, the word of God. And then the hand cleaning it became in full. It was Pastor Paul Rica, the international director. And then a voice said, My servants all over the world has buried my word of truth. Only my servant Paul is bringing back my word of truth back to life. Praise the Lord. And then suddenly a car appeared. The car is like the international directors met this car. And the car stopped before us. Pastor Rika entered the car behind. There was a man behind already sitting at the owner's side. Pastor Rika entered behind and sat with him. And I entered in front and sat in the passenger side of the front of the car. And then there was somebody in driver's seat. This person has no form, but is very, very white. I cannot describe the whiteness of this personality. He has no form. I will say that personality is formless. And then the vehicle moved. As the vehicle moved, there were a multitude of people running and following this vehicle. No matter their speed, they could not touch this vehicle. And then I saw another multitude running behind the first multitude, which was running after this vehicle. The second multitude was not running for the word of God but they were running to distract the first multitude that was running after the world and they were doing all they could to see that the first multitude stumble but they could not succeed <laughs> then the car continued moving at a point I was unable to see the multitude again and we entered into a region I was seeing nobody. And then the man behind with Pastor Rica was the Lord Jesus Christ. <laughs> then he introduced the driver of this car, this formless man, as the Holy Spirit. We continued and suddenly we started seeing another crowd of people running and following this car 
different way of the dressing and Pastor Rika asks the Lord who are these people the Lord say we are now in Asia praise the Lord the first multitude the Lord told Pastor Rika when he asked them he asked who those first multitude was and Pastor Rika said the Lord answered Pastor Rika that these are the end time converts from African nations and then the very cool when the, we end, the Lord announced that we have entered into Asia Pastor Rika saw that they were see dressing as Muslims, as Buddhists, as Hindus. And Pastor Rika now asked the Lord, if they are Christian converts, why are they see dressing like this? And the Lord said, that is the secret of the great work they are doing for me in Asia. Now the Muslim, a Muslim will see his fellow Muslim and believe that he's still in the Muslim faith. And when he will talk with his Muslim brother, this Muslim brother will convert him to Christianity. <laughs> and to the Hindus and to the Buddhists, this was what they were doing. And a great multitude revival was taking place in Asia. The car continued moving until we came in view where we are not seeing anybody again. And suddenly we begin to see people who were like as if they know this car was to pass their land because they were all standing waving at the car. And Pastor Rick has said, Who are these? The Lord said, We are now in Australia. And the Lord began to tell Pastor Rika, because Pastor Rika had a very big diary in his hand, that in this land, they are religious men. The end time gospel will do a mighty revival in this land. And a lot, a lot of them will be converted and many will become my soldiers. Then the vehicle continue his motion. The driver, this formless personality, was not driving like earthly drivers, like turning, steering, or touching the chair or whatever. The car was just moving, and we gone out of the sight of people, and then entered into a land where there were people, skeptical people, running after this vehicle. Pastor Rika asked the Lord and the Lord said we are now in America. Now this is the seat of Satan. And suddenly the United Nations building came in view and the Capitol Hill building, the Congress came in view. The Lord was telling Pastor Rika that the end time revival will suffer a great deal in America because that is the seat of Satan. The car continued and we came into another land where the people were already celebrating, clapping and Pastor Rika did not ask the Lord but the Lord said we are now in Europe. And that there will be mighty revival in Europe. Praise the Lord. Amen. Amen. So the car continued. And we entered into a land. This car was moving on top of water. And people were running on top of water following this car. Pastor Rika now asked the Lord, why are they running on top of the water? The Lord said, we are now in Oceania. They don't have land. Everywhere is water. But they move on the water as if they are moving on ordinary land. And as they are running following this car on top of the water, 
their right hand and left hand was picking something out of the water as I thought it was fish but they were picking out human being it was a mighty revival in Oshonel the vehicle continued and we came into a place where everybody was doing what he or she was doing the Lord himself announced that we are now in Israel then we looked up and saw a billboard written Tel Aviv International Airport and suddenly that writing changed to they are still in their own belief there we saw that a lot of the Israelites are Muslims and many more are Judaizers the Judaism worshippers a lot of them and the Lord began to talk to Pastor Rika he said many in my movement coordinators women and members are learning very very fast some are learning very very slow where the others are like peacock that was the language the Lord used why the others are like peacock the Lord continued talking to Pastor Rika and telling him say, a time will come you will be traveling for a preaching assignment without your wife because of pregnancy and child bearing But during that time, Satan will bring many thoughts into her heart to assuage her. Tell her to be very, very, very careful when that time comes. Praise the Lord. Then Pastor Rika asks the Lord, Lord, you brought Sam into this journey, referring to me. And the Lord said, yes, Sam is my servant. Sam will be among the missionaries he will send to Asia. And they will do great revival in Asia. In Asia, Bule will turn to water before them. Bomb will mean nothing to them. Godless will mean nothing to them. But some will be among the few missionaries you will send to Asia that will be my martyrs. And on that day, a Bible will turn to a mighty sword. Praise the Lord. At this time, I and the formless man came out of the vehicle. Only Pastor Paul Rika and the Lord were seeing the vehicle and what they were discussing, I was not hearing again. And suddenly, Pastor Rika came out of the vehicle and the formless man entered and the vehicle moved and Pastor Rika looked at me and said, Brother Sam, I said, Sir, he opened his diary and showed the last word he wrote on the last page of the diary was Psalm 119 verse 89. Let's go to the Bible. Psalm 119 verse 89. Psalm 119 89. Are we there? I read. Forever, O Lord, thy word is settled in 
heaven. Then I am Pasorika shouted, Amen. Then I lost the vision and I began to cry. Asking the Lord, said, Who am I that this mercy should be shown to me? Praise the Lord. May the Lord bless his word in our lives in Jesus' name. Let us stand on our feet. I want us to pray. The Lord said in his movement, some are learning very fast, some are learning very slow, some are like peacock. And from my own understanding, the, those that are like peacock, I don't know whether are they the proud ones or those who are just members of holiness movement, but whatever we are doing does not consign them. Open your mouth and talk to God. Ask the Lord that you want to be among those that are learning very, very fast. Open your mouth and pray. Father Lord, I bless your word. I thank you for your word. And I'm praying, Lord, that I be among those that are learning very, very fast in your movement. In all aspects of learning, in the world, in doctrine, in prayer, in counseling, in all things, so long, that I be among those that are learning very fast in this movement in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh Lord, I pray that this learning, oh Lord, each and every one of us will give us the grace to learn and understand what we have learned that we without your servant wherever we may be we will show forth that of a truth you have saved us in Jesus name we pray secondly I want us to pray for mommy Linda that during such a time of pregnancy and childbearing Satan will never never succeed to assuage her now the Lord will give her the grace to understand the voice of the enemy to not to listen to Satan. Let's pray for her. Father, in the name of Jesus, I bring your daughter, sister, lay down to your throne of grace. As you have said in your word, during such a time, I pray for the grace that will abide in her, that Satan will never succeed to assuage her. That Satan will never succeed to bring negative thoughts in her. That Satan will never succeed to bring thoughts that will bring unrighteousness in her. Oh Lord, I pray that your spirit will guide your daughter. In Jesus' name we pray. Also, lastly, I want us to pray. Whoever this missionary is, the intellectual director will be sending to Asia. I want us to pray that the Lord will start preparing them for the great work ahead. Open your mouth and pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, the missionaries will be sent into Asia. Daddy, begin to prepare them for the great work ahead. Jesus, begin to turn their heart for the assignment ahead. Turn their spirit, their soul, their body for the assignment you are sending to them. Are they brothers? Are they sisters? Lord, Change them into another man. Transform them into another woman. In Jesus' name we pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you for your word. Of a truth, you have shown your presence in this ministry. Of a truth, you have made us to know that our international director, Pastor Paul Rika, is your servant. We thank you for bringing each and every one of us to this movement. And we are praying to you, Lord, that you help us to learn under your servant as those who are learning very fast. In all manner of learning, in Jesus' name. Help us, O oh Lord, not to be slow learners. Help us, O oh Lord, 
not to be the peacocks. In the name of Jesus. Anything the enemy, the world, those that hate righteousness and holiness, those that does no want the work of the end time to continue will do, they will never succeed in Jesus' name. Now we thank you for today. We bless you. We magnify your name. Take all the glory. Take all the honor. At the end, O oh Lord, we shall celebrate the marriage feast with you in heaven. In Jesus' name we pray. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I give all glory to Jesus Christ our Lord. Who have given me the grace to stand before you. I never knew I could stand here. Because when the Lord Jesus spoke to me, it was never in my mind that I will come here to say it. So but there, there's a, a daddy. A member of holiness, you know. He's also a member of holiness. In Ilori chapter. In Ilori chapter. Mama was in Bible study in church every Tuesday. He used to attend Bible study in our church every Tuesday. I want to go in the church every Tuesday. He's the one that I had when I was telling people this revelation. I want to show the coordinator in Kwara chapter. And he's the one that notify our coordinator in Kwara chapter. I want to show the coordinator. And as, daddy and as he told the coordinator, coordinator called the international director. They want to say, one, one in daddy, they can wash your dummy. As he called him, he said, daddy said, he, she should come. In fact, I get one where me, oh, me, oh, respect. In fact, the day they came, and she more, respect. more, why imagine when we were one girl. In fact, she was surprised at their coming. More, 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 more. Then she asked, what is the matter? He said there's no problem. They said someone told them that the Lord Jesus discussed with her about holiness. People. Then she asked who? And she mentioned the pe the person's father name. That that the Porika says when they get to her. They should give her phone so that he can talk to her. So what the daddy on the phone? And daddy was called on phone. What the phone for me? And giving the phone. What about me sorrow? And daddy discussed with her. During this period, she could not speak well. Because one in marathon. Because she was in marathon fasting. So mama was sorrow. What sort of me? To be a meji. They discussed for about two occasions. Tori wa ban kati mo sorrow dad. Because um, he was not hearing her well. So, one was of me making try that one on 24. And then that they instructed that to try and come on the 24th. But me on Niloka, that one. She never have it in mind to come. Let me ye coordinator to wasile wa again. After this, the coordinator came to the house. Also, of me by some motin prepare and ask, is she preparing to come? Me on Niloka, that one. She didn't have it in mind to come. Because to her, she didn't think Jesus wanted her to come and discuss it, but Jesus is only giving her information. But I told you on Sunday. But on Sunday, yes, when we in service during the service. She received a witness in her spirit to pray and inquire from God whether she should come or not. So And on that day she prayed. And the Lord told me that I will go. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Kinto ma soni pa message yi. Before I begin to share the revelation. Mo fe so kini kan bo se wa sinu kan mi. I want to say something that came to my mind. Ko n se pe boya won kan mu ni wa si bi lasan. I am not brought here in vain. 
na di polika mi o ni won ju e to so so lo he has seen she has seen pastor polika only once last year won wa fun revival ni kwara and that was last year in the revival kwara crusade then mo mo gbo message won and she do listen to his message so bi ti so lu asiba mi soro ni pa won o ya mi lenu as the lord discuss with her about him is a marvel is a surprise to her now Oh, yes, Eleni, oh, just Monday. It happened on Monday. Oh, yes, Eleni, oh, just Monday. It happened on Monday. Oh, my week. She was weak. So, oh, that when it pays me to me for charity. It's as if a spirit is about leaving her body. So, my wife now lay down. And she went and lay down. So, my wife was in her. Then she was. She entered the trance. I saw a man in my dream. Oh, I'm so full of pain. Can you prepare a prayer for your senior job? She saw a man in a dream telling her to prepare. They are going on a journey. Come set me alone. Can you bear me sorrow? Tell me. It's not as though God has never spoken to her before. Even to my very bad, Mr. Timba, what time I talk about Joko? Oh, my soft me breaking the day, Lord, do see the can. In fact, if the Lord want to speak to her and she's with her husband, God will ask her to withdraw herself to a certain place. Timba, but sing, can Lord, what time I miss sorrow? You soft me breaking, fikin me ekale, can Lord see the can. Even if she's doing something and the Lord want to speak to her, God will ask her to suspend the thing and go somewhere. But a lay to yato. But this is peculiar. After the vision, Moji, she woke up. Oh, they like you, you pray down. And she loved to sing song of thanksgiving. But me, we're not in any mood. But she couldn't remember the vision again. We want to pray. And she gave thanks. Moji, we want to pray. Why she was giving thanks? Moji, oh, you me. She closed her eyes. Mo kari pe je solua wole. Then she saw the Lord Jesus entered. Oda bere sini ba mi soro. And began to discuss with her. Oko koko le ni si mi bi mo sing koni ni. At Jesus was smiling at her while she was singing the song. Le ni ji. After this. Oda bere sini ba mi soro lo i jo lo. Then Jesus was discussing with her about the Church of God. Oda mi soro lo i i jo ti mo wa ni nwe. Jesus discussed with her about the church where she is. She was. Not only in the Lord, but also in that the Polica. It is from there he started discussing concerning that the Polica. Then Lord, he go back when he attend what movement. And also concerning all the members of the movement. Lord, the coordinator, including the coordinators. Lord, I am when he attend one divine revelation. And also people that had divine revelation. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Now, me only saw where my cousin Benny be told his mommy so lonely, but that the Polika. She will not say everything, but she will discuss with us what God told her concerning that the Polika. Oh, 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 oh I said no. She said no. Oh, I saw from the bed. And he said, Oh, sorry, me, me to talk. The Lord Jesus said, Indeed, he preached my word in truth. Oh, death to Shebel. And he also lived by the truth. Oh, sorry, me, me to talk. He preached my word in truth. Oh, death to Shebel. And he lived in the truth. So. And then we only know John chapter fourteen verse twenty one. The reference scripture for that is John fourteen verse twenty one. So just so not as why you and the Lord Jesus proceeded. Oh, so me pe, oh, so me pe, bo bo an watu an watu movement. He said all the members of this movement. Only he pe ti on pe wani ji. He said this is the peculiar call he has called them. Oh, pe wa la ti bo ati la ti shebe. He has called us to hear and to do. Oh, so from the beginning, he said that he was born in Kansas. So it's not just to be here as a lone. Oh, so from the beginning, all of us were born. He has not called us to be looking around. Oh no, we were just just being there, can't listen. He said he has not called us as a social group. Oh, we were just just being there, on my listen. He has not called us as. I'm group of a 
locality. He said he has called us unto holiness. And he said this movement is his own. And he is holy. He said this is the reason why you must be holy. He said that is why he has called us unto holiness. So that we can be doers of his word. So John chapter 8 verse 31. According to John 8 31. He said this is the reason why this movement is not a denominational church. And it will never be a denominational church. And he said and it must never be church. Denominational church. Jesus said, We that are members, He has called us unto holiness. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And He said, This preaching on holiness. He said, "Is the last step God is taking to prepare people for the rapture." He said, "There is no other grace again." So there is nothing else. That God will do again to prepare His people. First Corinthians chapter two, verse nine and ten. First Corinthians two, nine and ten. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Also, Lord, that the porika like Then he further discussed concerning that the porika. Also, if we go up to him and say, "Ma," he said, "His heart is pure." Also, me for see a one to want to hear, and he loved those who do not set their heart on things of the earth. Because say on to a one, but things of heaven. That he also loves to gather those who love the truth. He said they are pursuing him for evil. Then the Lord mentioned the name of a church to him. But I don't want to mention it. Praise the Lord. Only one left power. He said a particular church is pursuing his life. Only Suba, no, we need one more. He said, but they will never get him. He said those who saw Pastor Polika should be very careful. Only because I only wait to The word is very heavy. Only wait to Very heavy. Only wait to go. It is very heavy. Only I want to hear about Polika. I want to hear Salada. He said those who surround Pastor Polika should be very careful. Me to repay no lady by by him because they will never get him. Only the one who want to hear about Polika. He said all that surround this man. Only he said the one who name no car. He said. All of them are not united. So he did he said this is the reason why they must be careful. I beg all of us that surround our Father in the Lord. Be very watchful. Be very watchful. Be very watchful. Did I see a the Lord um, Judas never thought they could arrest Jesus because he knows Jesus is powerful. So look back, but they are out back, they are to call me out for your minions. So where they know for you are. But he has forgotten that someone will betray Christ and that person shall be cursed. But our father Polika will never be gotten. So Mantia Subafi Binu Besale Mikani Lawalari and Wato Yiba Baika. But if Satan in his rage employ anyone among those who surround Pastor Polika, the person will suffer for it. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. 
Jesus told us that so no one want to need divine revelation. And the Lord Jesus discussed with us concerning those who are divine revelation. Jesus told us of me pay this set pay. The Lord Jesus said, It is not as though all of them were perfect before He took them to heaven. He said, But they obtained grace. That is Exodus chapter, chapter 33, verse 17 to 19. According to Exodus 33, 17 to 19. Only one little text, but. He said they must bow, they must submit. He said they should submit and learn. In as much as it was not their perfection that made him took them to heaven. Therefore they must learn in their area of weakness. And Amen. Make amendments. He is Satan in So that Satan will not cheat them. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. 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 Only on when you want you want to kiss. He said these people need serious watchfulness and carefulness. He said it is not for them to be seeking to stand alone, to so, be established. Therefore, I'm appealing to all of you that obtain this grace. I beg you so much. I beg you so much. Anyone that did not learn can never be a good leader. And it will take her to buy JD, no man tell Lori Gidi. It is he who learn and overcome that can be a good leader. And my Jacky Satani Tipa Seni by Sell Don't allow Satan through you affect the work of God. Be very watchful. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Our coordinator. Now concerning the coordinators. Only our coordinator, he want to keep Sarah. He said the coordinators should be very careful. Also, we pay only the way lo. We are more watching our cowards. He said different, different thoughts will enter their mind. Yes, yes, we have to pay. We pay. Eh, we pay. So when we match with each other, that's it. We need that team in your suit, huh? Or tell her what? Or fool for Sarah, come on. Or see Batty alone. Just to love me, pay. Only this is a he. The Bible says, when men slept, his enemies came and so us among the wheat and went his way. The Lord Jesus now said, Now Satan is not waiting for men to sleep before he operates. Said if you are standing, Satan can stand with you. If you are sitting, Satan can also sit with you. If you are speaking, he can also sit with you. He said the coordinators should be aware so that they will not personalize the work into church or denominational work. Only come and tell if I go for one long. He said they should not satisfy their lust. That is First Corinthians chapter three, verse eight to fifteen. According to First Corinthians three, eight to fifteen. Now he now tell me that only a soul be no giddy giddy. He said this <laughs> devil is furiously angry. A soul be no gun. Satan is very angry. Even that what he agree come and what? If I when she agree to come. Oh, damn me when you go born. Satan tempted her in various ways. He did everything. But I give thanks to God. But glory to God. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Only a soul giddy giddy. He said the devil is angry. Only only Satan in them are Baba Porika wa nenu Jesus. He said and Satan knows that Pastor Porika is in Christ. Jesus si wa nenu Baba Yi. And Christ is in him. Only he said he pa jealousy of the Baba Yi. He cannot affect this work through him. He didn't hit our coordinator of good of Kie Sala. And this is why coordinators must be very careful. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And he also said this to me. He said, Pastor Polika also should be very watchful. The Lord Jesus said, It is easier for the 
children of darkness to remove hearing from their ears to keep all the laws so that they can affect the work of God so that they can liberate the work of Satan they can serve Satan Luke chapter 16 verse 8 Luke 16 8 he said also the children of darkness used to allocate themselves they will allocate themselves to various parts of the work of God they will be in every department they will be among the choir in all departments so that they can fulfill the work their father, the devil, send them. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Isaiah 7, verse 4 to 7. Only one of them, only one of them, only one of them, he said, the children of darkness they have zeal but he said but their zeal is a contrary zeal they are very forward and they even have the gift of giving charity. and they have a very fervent love that is how the Lord says that they have fervent love praise the Lord hallelujah I pray that the Lord will not leave this movement and he will not leave our Father in the Lord and he will give all of us the grace to be doers of the word glory be to God in the air praise the Lord on the second day of our arrival here I receive a revelation. What I saw in the revelation was that we were told to ask for mercy. They called the mercy three times. That every one of us here should ask for mercy before we go and we should also ask for mercy for the nation Nigeria we should ask for mercy for this country glory be to the Lord praise the Lord hallelujah amen uh, I was wondering why this testimonies have multiplied the lord is speaking everywhere saying the same thing then i reasoned that two things should be responsible one god loves this movement with all his heart because we have come out for him with all our hearts so he is expressing himself to us so that we should feel encouraged amen it is normal in scripture daniel was encouraged he was given a word to encourage him thou greatly beloved of the lord the lord loves you that made daniel to be encouraged god commends people if you look at scripture philemon paul recognized the good work in philemon he said by recognizing the good thing you are doing it will give you more encouragement to do what you are doing paul by the holy spirit recognized the good work of onesimus who was supporting him uh is it onesimus onesiphorus who was supporting him in the gospel work 
and in fact he said the lord will grant him eternal life all these positive positive words are meant to encourage the man who is working hard to work more and we who are we understand the word of god we understand that the bible says better is the end of a thing than the beginning of it so when the praises of god comes like this we say oh lord maintain us this way to the end of our lives that keeps us humble it keeps us prayerful it keeps us striving i'm praising all the upward way new heights and gain Ning every day still praying as i onward bound lord plant my on high ground Lord lift me up and that remains our song the second reason i think god might be doing this is because satan has prom has uh, raised up blasphemy against us he is he has raised up people who have sold themselves to him to speak every manner of evil even thing i mean just they say it anyhow they say anything anyhow the purpose being that as you hear negative information you should stay away instead of coming to holiness revival movement instead of coming to pastor paul Rick and listening to his word never he's a bad man in fact he's the most wicked man he's even deceiving the world so as a result human beings have simple minds some will think that it is true and will stay away to their destruction that's why jesus said i will be faster than satan while darkness is there light will shine and the light will overcome darkness the voice of Jesus is superior to the voice of the devil. Yeah. He addressed some people, you are of your father, the devil. He was a liar from the beginning. When he speaketh lie, he speaketh of himself. Because he, was, he is a liar and the father of it. So, these children of satan fabricate every kind of lies but you are children of light whose report will you take report you will take satan's report or god's report whose report do you remember that song Sing it, let's hear. One, two, go. Which report will it take? One, two, go. Ah. The report of the Lord.
<laughs> Amen. Amen. We should also be careful. The Lord has said it over and over. This is not a church. A, a denominational church. That's what it means. Be careful that no church rises up in your community. Call it whatever name. And say, we are the same with holiness movement. In fact, it can be one of our leaders. And carry all your attention there. To the point that you are now arrested to, you, to be following a denominational name now. Don't do that. It might be Satan's lie. Struggling to divert your attention. While we still say, our brethren who have churches, as the Lord leads you, you could worship with them. Worship with them with one leg. I said, with how many legs? Amen. How many legs? Amen. Because the, the people are surprising us. These are our coordinators. We, did, we, 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 we thought they could not commit sin. That are with all this world. But we have, just as the, the Lord has spoken, Satan's own can come also. So somebody can come and play zeal and play wisdom. Is just to destroy your faith. And when he wants to turn and go his own way, he begins to tilt you. You're already inside his vehicle as he's turning and he's going to another direction. And some of you might even be made to defend him. Say, ah, we're oppressing him. Ah, we're telling lies against him. Ah, we'll look at what we're doing for your harm. Man, please, let go. If, let God be true. What happens to man? So deal with man with care. Deal with man with care. As the Lord leads you to fellowship in a man's church, fellowship with how many legs? Amen. Fellowship with how many legs? Amen. So that if the man is the contrary man, you just remove how many legs? Because no, he said, it's God who, who, who brought me here. And I came here through holiness revival movement. There's nothing you will say. Which denomination that is coming to become bigger than these other denominations? Is there any other one? No. Be careful that no politics is played over your life to the damnation of your soul. No politics. And this tells you pastors that if you think you are coming here in wisdom to scatter these people from the Lord you will not succeed yeah. get away and say uh -huh, I have got them enough I will turn as you are turning they will be jumping out of your place If you gather the full and eight cows together, when full and eight people are sitting together, you know all their cows are together. Is that not so? But when one stands up and is going and makes a noise, I said, My sheep hear my voice. What will, what will be happening among the cows? Separation. Clean separation. They will follow the law, they will follow their honor. So if you think you will play wisdom over these people, all that I have got in your church will live clean. Is that so? Therefore, any pastor that is in holiness movement, don't use carnal wisdom. You will never succeed. The Lord will remove all his people. Are you his people? Or you are the people of some pastors? <laughs> Amen. Now, for all this message we have received from the Lord, let's give him a clap of faith of appreciation.
We are saying thank you, Jesus. You are in the right place. You are in the right place. I say we are saying thank you, Jehovah. Thank you, my Lord.